guys, thank you so much for tuning in for my closet tour video today. I feel like going through a lady's closet is just about as personal as it can get, so I feel like this means we're real friends. But I moved in and realized it is the tiniest closet space I've ever had in my entire life. And you may be looking at it and going, Jessica, stop complaining, that's a double door closet, it's not that small. But I will have you know, I actually shared this closet with my husband. So he has one side and I have the other side. So it's pretty much a one drawer closet. It's really teeny tiny. Although I don't have that much stuff, I'm still a girl and I like clothes and I like shoes and I need to put it somewhere and this is a really tiny closet. I started off by scouring the internet and I have to say, you've really failed me on this one YouTube because all the closet tour videos that I could find were of people in their luxurious walk-in closets and their ample amount of space, things that I could only dream of. And the things that they were doing in their closets really did not translate to my teeny tiny space. So I went rogue and I found a whole bunch of like wacky things that I used to create space. If you have a tiny wardrobe, help is on the way. Don't fear, it's going to get better. Okay, so this is a real person's closet, so it's not going to look like an Instagram closet. So I hope that's not what you were expecting. It's not color coordinated all that fantastically, but it functions really well. Okay, so here I've got all of my hanging stuff, which is pretty much the majority of my clothes I hang. Um, at the front here is where I keep all the empty hangers. So if I take something out to wear it, I'll put the empty hanger immediately immediately at the front so that when I do the laundry and I go to put everything back I can just grab these rehang everything and then put it straight back in and then just behind that I have this hanger where I keep all of my belts I've seen a lot of people loop their belt buckles over this part of the hanger but it just makes it really bulky and so doing it this way meant that it stayed really thin and didn't take up a whole lot of space in my wardrobe from there I have everything hung pretty much according to sleeve length so I've got all my um, like singlet tops at the front and t-shirts. Then it moves into knitwear and cardigans. And then towards the back I have all of my dresses for church. And behind that I have my winter jackets and sweatshirts. So moving higher up in the wardrobe, I grabbed these amazing crates from Target. I think they were less than $3 each, which is a huge bargain. Because when I was looking for crates, ah, they can be really expensive. And the thing that I love most about these is that it has these little holes in them. Me being really short, it's hard for me to grab things that are too high up. But with this, I can just slide my fingers in and pull it right out. I also like how deep these are and just generally how big they are. It was hard to find crates that were this big and particularly for such an amazing price. So I snapped these up and they worked so perfectly for the space. So this one I keep my bras and underwear in and the other one I keep my sleepwear. So going even higher than that, I installed above the crates this shelf right here because there was a lot of space up to the roof of the wardrobe that just wasn't being utilized. It was literally just dead space and space is something that I really need. So I put this shelf in so that I could put some folded clothes up there. So pretty much all I keep up there are my pants and my jeans and then my skirts and my shorts on the other side. Okay, so heading down to the bottom of the wardrobe, it was dead space down here, just like it was at the top of the wardrobe. And I knew I wanted to put shelving in here, but it was really hard to find shelving that would fit the length of the wardrobe. I looked through so many conventional websites and everyone just had the same shelving and would only come in like two different lengths and neither of the lengths suited what I was looking for until I found an incredible website. I believe it's called... Um, the shelving store, but I'll add the website so that you can go to it and they had a huge variety of different lengths of shelves and you could pick how many shelves you wanted for each length as well. So I went with just two and I couldn't be happier because the length of it happened to be the exact length to run the entire bottom of the wardrobe. So it worked out so well. On the bottom shelf, I've put all my shoes. So it's deep enough to have um, two pairs of shoes going back so I've got mostly my heels here and then I have my two go-to pairs of runners there and then I put a couple more pairs of shoes here which are my kind of everyday 
kind of throw-ons and then behind that I have another pair of joggers and some Converse. So here I put a riser which was something that we already had. I've been trying to find more risers online but they're pretty expensive so I've been holding off on doing it but I do want to get some more so if you find a good deal please let me know. And then these awesome little baskets I recently found at the Dollar Tree so I was so excited because they were only a buck and they're beautiful like they're so nice and usually these woven type designs they're plastic but they're it's a woven design usually those are the most expensive so I was really excited to find these so in here I have put all of my flat shoes and my like summery sandals and then I've got my slippers and so that just tucks right in under there really neatly and then on the top one, I've got all of my handbags and little purses just kind of stacked in there for easy access. And then on the end, I had a bigger handbag that was just a little too big to put inside of the baskets, but that just stays on the end of the riser. Okay, so I've left the best till last, and honestly, this was pretty much the entire reason why I wanted to even do a closet tour video was just to let you guys know about this one thing. So this is a four tiered spice rack of all things and it was just perfect for this space. Like the width was brilliant for the space and the fact that it came with four shelving was amazing too. I'm always tempted to put in a second one underneath and just continue the shelving all the way down the wall because it has just been a lifesaver. So if you have a tiny space, seriously guys, get a spice rack. So that's my closet tour and as you can see I really wasn't lying about not having a whole lot of space but if this video is helpful to you I'd love to know about it in the comment section down below and if you want to see more videos then go check out my channel. Anyway thank you so much for tuning in tonight I hope you have a wonderful evening. Love you guys.